I am redesigning my spring summer top from scratch. We are starting over because the last one was a fail and I just, I need a clean slate. We're starting new, we're starting fresh. I have some new ideas. So I think this one should be more successful. And we're gonna design and do first draft. If first draft works, final sample. That is the plan, but let's see how this goes. <laughs> There's something I need to do before we get to the top and it is to just pack an order for a store. They sold two of my flower bags and they requested two more. So that's exciting. So let's start with that. I also made this new deal for myself that if I reach a thousand subscribers, I'm going to invest in a little mic for my phone for when I'm filming. So if you want better audio, please subscribe because that that's a deal. We'll make a deal. That's gonna happen. So the first one we want is this white floral. And I also wanted a purple one. Okay. They specifically asked for a floral bag, so I guess floral bags are what people want, which is good to know because I have some floral fabric. I was hoping to make into flower bags so now i was well i was doubting it but now i'm not <laughs> i just angle all the ties so it doesn't fray i also made these little tags to add on which just describes what the flower bag is since when most people look at it they're like what is this so I was selling in a market several months ago and I had a bag like on display with flowers but it was a bit higher so people didn't see it. It was like above your eyesight which that was my bad. But people would ask like what is this for? Like can I put my baby in it? And I was like please do not put your child in this. <laughs> it's for flowers, not a human being. So that they know it's mine. <laughs> so I'm first going to actually make the initial design sketch because I haven't even done that. We're literally starting from the very beginning with the design sketch, the inspiration photos. Now I'm, I do have inspiration photos. I did get that far and I'm going to show you up on the screen here. So the first inspiration photos that I really saved that really like resonated with me were these early 18th century they're called jumps and a jump is like an unstructured bodice i'm pretty sure like it doesn't have boning or anything in it i think that's how they described it let's google it a kind of under or undressed bodice worn by a woman especially during 18th century and in rural use in the 19th century usually fitted to the bus and often used instead of stays so it's like a support garment for easier wear i love that it tied up in the front i love that it was like longer but there's like shape to it still and i found another jump that also is super cute here you can see kind of from the waist to the hem it's actually a slit like it opens on the side i feel like this fits more body types like if you're more bottom heavy this slit allows that space to move and fall over your hips a lot better so i love that aspect of it so i love the silhouette of these jumps and i think that's something i want to recreate i came across this photo and i love that the buttons were like not equally spaced it was like a little bit irregular so closer by the bust point and the waist and then one at the top so i thought it could be kind of cute for ties i like the idea of tying it shut and like having bows <laughs> with those inspiration photos i'm just gonna draw some quick sketches just so i kind of know what i'm aiming for and just like a more visual idea for it
nice little close up on the little sketches. I mean, they look pretty much the same, but in my head, I was thinking like more different shapes if I wanted to visibly make this open up or more straight. And I think I landed on this. I want it to still be straight, but just like be able to like open up wide, add some side slits, bust starts, and then waist starts. And then I like the idea of like three bows here and then one at the neck and just finishing off the neck and armholes with some bias binding. So this is the vision for today. I actually just released my extra small jackets, which is a brand new size for me, on my website like 30 minutes ago. And I updated the whole website, like all the listings for everything, even the flower bags are all new. If you saw my video last week, it was the whole process of doing these new product photos and I'm really loving how it turned out. So I think that's the way forward. And it only cost me 15 euros. So that's a win for me. <laughs> Don't know why I crossed my fingers. It should be thumbs up. But if you haven't seen it, I'll just like link it up in the cards here. Also check out my website, you can see all the final results of the photos and also of course the three extra small jackets and I really love how they turned out. I think they're super cute, so go check it out. Everything is linked below. So I'm just going to use these blocks again that I already have. The fit is not so great, but that's why we're adjusting. I just like the initial shape of it and then we'll go from there. I already know I don't like how wide the shoulder seam is, so I'm just taking off some there and just reshaping my arm. It's all drafted, I'm just gonna quickly cut it out of, I was gonna say out of fabric, out of the paper. And then we can uh, make the very, very first draft of it and see how it goes. I think I have some fabric that I've been like kind of cutting up for samples, so it'll be good. The pieces are cut. Okay, I'm gonna quickly cut this out and then I'll be back with the pieces. So for now, we're just gonna start with the darts and like, just quickly whip this sample up. I already noticed when I was sewing the dart that it goes weird on the bottom. Like it, the dart is not straight, which is like a block problem. I'm gonna try on the other side just to sew the top of the dart and then stop at the waist. So then it becomes like a dart turned little tuck and see what that looks like. I'm just gonna put it on top of my t-shirt for now. So actually, I like. I'm gonna use my pen and then just draw on the sample so I know what this is like. So we're getting rid of this. I don't like it. I want it like this side of the dart. If this was the dart all the way to the bottom. I prefer the dart to just end up as a tuck. I think it's way more flattering and it just makes the piece fall a lot better. And then the neckline I want to bring down. And what else? Oh yeah, I want to bring the bust point down. Just gonna make sure it doesn't bleed onto my white shirt. Circle the bust point and then I just draw an arrow down. Which means that the tie goes down. Okay, what else do I want to change? We just like the top of the armhole. It's quite gapy here. Like take that in a bit. It's more straight. And then I'm also just gonna bring in this armhole. I feel like it goes way too wide. I want to like take that in a bit more. And of course the ties are ridiculously long. <laughs> I would make them a lot shorter than this. So let's just redo the draft. I'm gonna make a way more like official neck sample, like doing the proper bias on the neck and the armholes just to get a better idea of it. Same with like making real straps, surging it. Do I wanna surge it? Yeah, I think I'm gonna surge it. Just so I get a way better understanding of the actual complete fit. And 
as well as one second. But the back, I always add my label in the center back neck. And the only thing is I don't want to line this. So it's only one layer and I don't want to see the stitches on the other side. So I thought about just inserting a piece just on the back neck here for the sole purpose of holding my brand label. I finished my adjustments to the pattern. I like to work with the sample right beside, have my notes on the sample, and then be able to transfer it to my like actual draft. So I'm just gonna fix it the back and then cut it out and we'll do it in another fabric. I have a new pattern. It looks quite similar. Um, I just made the adjustments that we talked about before. And then I also added a strap piece. So we're gonna actually make new straps. And then this little piece for the back neck for the label. So it's gonna be cut on the fold. And then I just measured so that my like brand label would fit on here. The fabric I want to use is actually this really cute, very summery striped fabric. I think it would be nice in this silhouette. So let's start the second, but more official sample. The pieces are cut for the next iteration of the sample. These are all the straps. First up, I'm gonna do all the straps and then darts, then serge, then put it together. Okay, yeah. <laughs> for you, you're like, I don't know what you're doing. Okay. All the straps are done. Oh, and they look like, I don't even know, like candies or something, just because of the colors. I kind of love it. I had this little like back piece, but I don't know where it went. Oh, fell on the ground. For my label, it's a little bit extra having a little piece on the back neck just for my brand label, but I feel like it's a need. It needs it. So now I'm gonna do all the darts, which I don't love sewing darts, but I have no one to blame but myself. <laughs> I like the look of darts. I don't like sewing the darts. We are ready for the surging part. I did all the darts back in the front. Now I'm going to search the side seams and the shoulder seams before because I have those like side seams that need to stay open. So we're just gonna quickly surge everything and then we can start sewing it together and it becomes an actual garment. <laughs> Let's surge. We got a vest situation. It's pretty much complete, I would say. I just need to add the binding around the neck and the armholes. Okay, oh my goodness, I'm wearing it right now and I'm so obsessed, I love it so much. It totally worked out. And like, this is a final sample. I'm keeping it for myself. Like, not gonna lie, it literally looks exactly like my photo. Photo. Trying. And this is like an accomplishment. I love it so much. Okay, let's quickly go style it and I'll show you the final results. This is the final top, what do you think? I just paired it with like this very high-waisted skirt that I would probably wear together for the summer. This is the side, the back. I like that it has a shape without being so like fitted. I think I could even make it like a whole size smaller and still wear it if I wanted it more fitted, but obsessed. I love the bows. And I was also thinking you could wear it tied at the top or if you open it, it kind of looks like a vest that people wear as tops with the little lapels, you know? A different way to wear, a different look. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and I'll see you next week, bye!